The following podcast is not real, but it is really sponsored by Iron Galaxy. Scream like a school kid with Capsule Force, an intergalactic retro anime multiplayer game now available on PS4 and Steam. Learn more at CapsuleForce.com. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you haven't listened to the podcast before, this is what's going on. About eight or nine, I don't remember, months ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King into the magical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a slight Wi-Fi signal, I think, through the dimensional portal from the Burger King, and I use that to upload a podcast that I record every week here in the tavern, the Vermilion Minotaur, in the town of Hogsface, in the land of Foon. And I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Shunt the Talking Badger. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, Shunt, it's good to see you. Milk your mouse. (laughs) What's that? It's a saying. Milk your mouse. Milk your mouse. Is that a a foon saying? Yeah. It's just like, you know, if you're going to get at someone, you just say, like, I'm going to milk your mouse. If you're going to get at someone? I don't want to talk about this. You don't want to talk about foon stuff? (laughs) All right. Fair. And uh, my other I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Taragus. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak. The dwarves know me as Zonin and Hookstangis. And I am known in the Northeast as Gasmuanius Maystar. And there may be other secret names you do not know yet. And Arnold has been trapped here for 11 months. 11 months? Really? Yes. Ah, uh, wow. So, I've, it's almost been a year. Very good, Very Arnold. good, very good. Well done. We're really proud of you. <laughs> Have you been taking secret math lessons? <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. I've actually been filling my time trying to do a little bit of exercise because really? I'm really? working my way up. I'm in pre-training to do a little dungeon crawling. I'm going to get that lunar sword. Okay. Um, I don't see any, any progress. Yeah. yeah, look, it's a slow. It starts slow. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, How, who is training? I'm training myself. Well, training is probably not the right word. Oof. What's your regimen? In the morning, when I get up, I do a couple crunches. Okay, it seems like you're really searching for what you've been doing. A, a couple? <laughs> well, more than two, less than ten. And it's like here's the thing: I try to do one more every day. And these are crunches, as in it's crunch time. Uh, ooh, a little bit. Like, okay. yeah, basically, it's like a sit up. Uh, what kind of? Actually, that's a good question. What is? Foonian exercise in general. I think just living life. Staying alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not being it's murdered tough, yeah. around running, every quarter. Running from creatures. Yeah, 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 that's true. It's weird that I have been living that life and it has had no effect on my physique. How, how do you guess that you've been living that life? I stay close to the Vermilion Minotaur, for yes. one. Yes. Yes, so you're not living that life. Yeah. You've ventured true. nowhere. You've done nothing. You've accomplished not. But I am working on changing that. It's a new year, and I'm uh, slowly, one crunch at a time, getting closer to venturing out more. I don't know if you have this on Earth, but when someone says they're working on changing it, that's what we call bullshit. Oh, yeah. Because it's either you either you either do it or you don't do it. Uh-huh. You know, to say you're working on changing it, you know what I'm saying? Chunt, you're a good friend. You're a good friend. <laughs> what have you been up to, Chunt? Uh, a lot of uh, offices and bosses. My character just leveled up. Oh, um, that's yeah. right. That's mm-hmm. the that's the role playing game that yep. you guys are really. I'm into. very excited. Dan Smith just leveled up uh, because I took a an 85 minute lunch break and nobody noticed. So I gotta I gotta wow level up. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't get into that game as much. I know you guys love it. It's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, part of it is that you don't play it is what's really thrilling about it. <laughs> the fact you're that a I, it's a, <laughs> you're a good friend, John. Hey, you know what? Let's talk to our guests. Yeah. Oh, uh, Grimhoof and I murdered a shadow demon, but we don't need to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds boring. Hey, uh, I'm very excited about, I'm excited slash terrified about our guests here. Uh, it's Lois and Shark. Explorers, like Funian explorers. Yes, yes. Funian explorers for the Royal Funish Navy. Wow, and it's worth mentioning to our listeners that one of you is a shark. That's me, Lois. Oh, wait, hold on. So, wait, so it's Lois and Shark. Yes. But 
Lois is a shark. I am a shark. I am a human, as you can see. And your name is... He's not getting this, is he? He doesn't get a lot of things. Oh, it's very common. I have um, a fin. Yeah, so no, I'm yeah. A shark. <laughs> no, absolutely. My friend Don uh, met one of your kinds. Oh, which one? Yeah. Um, he's Don, the trans-dimensional delivery man. W- which shark? Uh, <laughs> Sounds nice. <laughs> I have to say, you're the friendliest shark that I've ever met. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's great. I. I think that's a very rude thing to say to Lewis. Yes, I. I mean, I didn't take it personally, but. A little part of me was very offended by... I mean, I'm, I'm a very nice person. Yes, you seem very nice. So I you're... think you're the nicest sharks I've ever met. Oh, That is very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Well, I found that most people who have to say they're a very nice person usually don't turn out to be a very nice person. I feel like I was first attacked for not being a nice person, then merely commented that I'm a pleasant person. You are a very pleasant person. Look, you don't get to be the, uh, the captain of it, your own ship in Foon without being a nice guy. So, okay, uh, and I, I hate, I, I'm trying not to descend into uh, who's on first territory here. Into what? I'm sorry. Oh, oh boy, I don't want to talk about Earth stuff. But so, what's who's on first? Lewis. Your name is Lewis. My name is Lewis A. Shock, captain of the Admiralty Board in the Foonish Navy. Wow, and. Lois. Lois. You are a shark. A shark. Yes. Yeah. By uh, birth. By birth. That's fantastic. Well, you we did. don't say uh, we say a shark. You a, did, yes. oh. You didn't become a shark later on in life. You've always I've been a shark. always, from the day I can remember being around. Were your parents both sharks? They were, yeah. What an interesting story. I know. They Do met you? at school. Oh, okay. So, am I the shark only school? One, am I the only one that has ever been confused by this? Lewis A. Shark and Lois, who is a shark? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Really? This is definitely a first for us. Everyone just rolls What's with it first? immediately. I'm sorry? Who? What's a first for you? This is a first for us. <laughs> who? Who? <laughs> Do you need us to uh, dump any water on you, or is that a real oh, question to ask? Oh, that would be great. We've okay. got a little bucket. Okay. Um, it's me... right, it's, there's a chum bucket, oh, and gotcha. there's here, a water let me just, bucket. Yeah. I'm just going to give you a little splash uh-huh. here. There you go. Just, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. And if periodically we could continue to do so, I, I don't want Lois to dry up. Yo, absolutely. Y- y- yes, I'm, I'm more confused about that than your names. Uh, uh, how did you become a shark who lives out of water? That's a funny story. It actually has to do with this guy over here and his 29th... 29th. 29th birthday. Mm. So, uh, wait, is this 29 wink or real 29? <laughs> 29 wink. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, in reality, I was 30, 40 at the time, yes. When I set off on my quest to uh, circumnavigate Foon, uh, I must admit I was rudderless. I did not know where to start. Luckily, uh, my men, thinking it would be funny, caught me a shark that I could mount on my cabin wall. Little did I know, I would meet a person who would become one of my best friends in the world. You call me a person. To me, you are. That's nice. But you are a shark. Just but you are a you shark. Are. Yeah. I am lowest. Cannot be more clear about that. Everyone is, is a person. A Whether you're an elf, a dwarf, a shark, a pixie, a tree, a tree, a, a flower. Sky. Everyone's a person. A human, a human can be a person. Yeah. Correct. Lois is just a person that needs a tank of water to survive. That's right. And mm-hmm. so on the ship, we would keep Lois in a tank of water. Mm, I see. So, Lois, how does it feel to be away from water? What kind of, what kind of like, time frame are we dealing with that's safe? Well, I've got about, I'd say, 45 minutes is my, my average. I can go 90. Uh-huh. I can go 90. But other than, other than She my, cannot my, go 90. I can, <laughs> she cannot I, go I went, 90. I went 90 one time. Mm-hmm. It was... Uh, it was a, It was almost a disaster. My skin starts flaking. It was 90 you'll, you'll wink. You'll see. You know, there were about 15 years where I told everyone I was 260. 260 <laughs> wink. 260 wink, exactly. Well, I just couldn't deal with the fact that I was getting older than that. Sure. Mm. Do you have that yeah. on Earth? Do you have people um, kind of pretending they're younger than they are? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why do you... <laughs> hmm. The strange way to respond Very to that strange. question. No, yes. sure. Yeah. How old are you, uh, let us turn all our focus on Arnold. Do, no, we, well, do we know how old you are? Have I, you ever said how old His you are? eyes darted about the room when he did that. Look, yeah. we've got a really young listenership. It was just think that I'm a hip young dude, you know? Like, I, hey, kids. I don't hey, millennials. Recall, I'm just like you. I don't recall What's a someone, single email anyone? where anyone has said, hey, Arnold, what <laughs> a hip young dude. Well, I want to learn a little bit more about your your explorations, Lewis A. Shark. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what? 
what? Uh, how does exploring food? How's it going? Well, as we all know, if we've I'm really seen, good at top notch, top notch. If we've seen a map of food, it's just a, a you know a, a piece in the middle. And Queen Titania wanted to know. What's the end bits all about? You know, oh, sure. What's all yes. around the end bits? Mm-hmm. I like to know what her end bits are all about. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong indeed. You would, have, you would have done very well on the ship, on the expedition. Oh, thank you. Now, yes. now I think the thing that you're most well known for, at least from my point of view, would be your discovery of the Delta of Xinyang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. That was a big discovery. Very yeah. important discovery. Too. Oh, that was you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. What was the name of that delta again? The Delta of Xiang. How do you spell that? S H E apostrophe Y O N G. Oh, fantastic. Xiang Delta. Yes. Yeah. The delta. It was actually deadly to navigate, but we had a secret weapon. Oh, tell us more. A shark. No. <laughs> that had actually already navigated the delta. Who was that? This is the best part. Yes. It was Lois. Oh, oh wonderful. Uh, yep. Wow. I, I discovered that Delta as a young a young little guy. See, I, I figure look, most of the sharks I know usually they'll, they'll go southwest, but you went to the Delta? Yep, I went okay. north east <laughs> okay. to the Delta. Well, yeah. I'm just glad that you guys are united in this, uh, in this endeavor. Why are you smiling? I don't know. Earth people are loving it. Yes, we were definitely a team. I oh, mean, yeah. uh, as everyone who knows me knows, I don't do maps. Maps, they confuse me. You know, what's what's east? You know, sure. What is east? That's a wonderful philosophical question. So having shark aboard the ship was uh, perfect in, in being able to navigate through the waters of the Delta. Mm. Now, the most important thing to remember is the natives did not want us in the Delta. Oh. Yes. We battled. We had fierce fights. Uh, shark actually had to turn against her own people. It was, um, I don't actually really want to talk about it, but it was, um, it was hard. Please, this is the time. Okay. Yeah, I can't, Lois. I can't tell if she's crying or if no, she's just expelling my, water. I need, can Let you me, can just, oh, <laughs> just, oh, there you go. Thank, oh, thank that you. was some shrimp. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong that's bucket. Okay. Sorry. I, I, that's fine, too. I, I needed that as well. <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so I, uh, I was a bit of a runaway. Um. Yeah, Lois, what, what, is, what was your life like as a shark that led you to, to prefer the company of humans? That's a good question. I never got along with my shark mom and my shark dad. Yeah. As I told you, I was born of two sharks. Oh, that's shark terrible. Yeah, it, they, yeah, it was shark terrible. Um, so early on, I, I used to go up to land, probably a little too close to land, to be mm, honest. But sure. I, was, uh, I was an adventurous soul from forever as well. And I uh, spied humankind on the shore, and they just seemed like they had a great time. They liked each other's company, yeah. Wh- whereas me... You know, Walking around on those... Um, what do you call them again? Legs. 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 Getaway Legs. sticks. <laughs> ah, yes. Exactly. So you're like, I want to go where the people are. Yeah. I, yes, exactly. I want to go where the people are. Um, precisely. So uh, when, I ca- when I caught sight of this guy, I, I went up to the ship like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're partially to blame because for four years before we left on the quest, we had beach parties in anticipation of leaving to circumnavigate Foon. Lois saw some of the beach parties and maybe got an inaccurate representation of what human life was like. They had a lot of fun. Can I ask? Um, I don't want to be crass or rude or uh, presumptuous. Then think um, hard before are you, you guys, ask. Well, uh, I'm already on a roll. Um, you guys uh, uh, get down. You two have some horizontal refreshment. You guys. Um, My goodness. Yeah, man. what's the. I mean. Hey, you guys, it seems like you guys are banging, right? I, I mean. I wouldn't put it. A gentleman <laughs> would never. I mean. But would a shark tell? I, a gentleman would never, but to? would a shark tail? I, I have. I want to hear the shark tail. <laughs> the shark tail is... I don't think any of us want to hear the shark tail. <laughs> That's come and gone. I have, I, have, I have spent some evenings in the shark tail. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Okay, so you guys do it in, in, in the water? Well, it needs to be cleaned, and it's very small. So, uh, yes. so we're talking about the tank? <laughs> we're talking about the tank. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. The tank the gets tank very gets dirty. I sure. Shed. She sh- sheds full layers of shark skin. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, yes, I have from time to time, I dip into the tank. Okay. And, you know, he's got this, the scrubber brush, and sometimes... You know, when you're scrubbing and you're brushing. Listen, there's no need to yes. hide your... I mean, don't hide your... No, I know don't what house is when you're scrubbing and brushing. 
What is more erotic than scrubbing and brushing? I mean, you know, it's it's just classic. We we work so close together. You know, tell me you've never you've never fallen for a coworker. So would you say? Look at these two right here. Exactly. Would you say your greatest discovery is love? No. No. Okay. We circumnavigated yeah. the Delta. 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 That's just Delta. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The Delta. Yeah. Very right. important right. for trade yeah. and for, yeah. for yeah. commerce. You're right. Yeah. Delta was very, yeah. very important. That was yeah. Yes. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. So I would love to hear a little more. So, Lois, you had to fight other sharks yep. at the shell delta of Xiang? Xiang. 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 I, yeah, I came up against some of my cousins, um, some of my old neighbors. Uh, uh, it was rough. Oh, your ex-boyfriend, Chris? My ex-boyfriend, Chris. Oh. Is he also a shark? Yes, he's okay. a shark. Uh, that was my, my one and only shark thing. Sure. Well, he was a shark. I mean, yeah, he's gone now. He's gone now. Oh. What happened? I killed him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. With my mouth, uh, with my teeth. Yeah. The, well, it was probably closure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, did you feel like, you know what? I'm over this relationship now. <laughs> the only real way to get over someone is to consume their flesh and have them always be a part of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's beautiful. Yeah. You can take the shock out of the water, but you, the, the girl, you can't take... What I'm saying is that she... Arnie, do you think when you get back home that you'll want to kill whoever Sarah's with? Uh, want to? Sure. Well, well hey, hey, so hold on. <laughs> no, first of all, my wife, I, my wife, I'm sure, I haven't been gone that long. I'm sure my wife is it's still looking for me. It's been almost a year. It's been 11 months. It's been 11 months, but I'm sure... It's almost a quarter of the time we spent partying on the beach. Yeah. And yeah. those parties got raucous. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm. Uh, well, I want to hear more about those parties. Let's actually, let's take a quick break uh, and let's learn more about uh, your explorations and those parties. This is Otak Barleyfoot of the Vermilion Minotaur, here with your free rumor of the week. Rumor has it that there is a potential spice embargo happening in Migas, which has very many uh, Foon Tavern and innkeepers up in arms uh, and concerned for their spice potato uh, production. That is your free rumor of the week, and that one hits pretty close to home. Come on down to the Vermilion Minotaur, uh, and please get yourself some mozzarella wands, bring your grandparents, anybody's welcome at the Vermilion Minotaur, right at the base of McShingleshane Forest. Okay, so now I'm really curious to learn more about your explorations. Would anyone else like an ale or mead? I'm going to run to the bar real quick. Would you like a seventh human leg? Oh, uh, well, I just had that shrimp earlier, but you know what? Yeah. Why All right, not? fine. I'll be right back. Rainbow Great. Bowl, please. Rainbow Bowl. Yes, uh, I mean, after we passed through the Delta, which was probably the toughest leg of the trip, we opened into open ocean. Mm-hmm. And the open ocean... <laughs> Let me tell you. Have any of you spent any significant time on the ocean of food? No. No? Islands galore. Islands that you would not believe. Islands with every type of exotic spice, exotic food. Oh, I believe that. Yes. Uh, Saffron Island was a, mm-hmm. a delightful time. Coconut Cove. Coconut Ooh. Cove, yes. We ate coconuts in the cove. Wow. Mm-hmm. Sound like pretty literal islands. <laughs> did, you name, did you name these islands? They all had signs. When we showed up, they all had signs. Very uh-huh. well marked. Very well marked signs and visitor centers. Oh yes, yes. Uh, Coconut yeah. Cove has a great visitor center. Wow! You can um, put a coin and turn a crank, and it uh, turns it into a coconut. Mm-hmm. Wow! A literal coconut, or no, on the coin. Just a oh, coconut on the coin. I see. Uh, the Isle of Style has shopping <laughs> galore. I mean, I bought this this suit I'm wearing right now. Wow! Mm-hmm. Guess nice. how much this was. I don't. Um, I don't really have context. twenty rubies, two coconut coins. What? Wow! Yes, that's all it cost, and they oh. are they are so pleased for the business as well. <coughs> Here's your mead, uh, rainbow bowl, you, uh, seven human oh. leg. Oh just boy! For me, you know, and I, some water for Arnold. Thank you. I once I was Ar- a seal Arnold, one Would time. you mind just splashing oh, that on Lois? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let me take a quick. quick sip well, she first. really needs. She really yeah, needs just, most just of the. Sip. I'm just getting a sip. scared. All right, she could die. She could die. If I start popping my peas, it's your fault. There you go. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, Chunt, you were saying? Oh, I was a seal one time, and I oh. swam a little bit into the ocean, not all the way in the open ocean, but I found this island, and there was, um, there was like this smoke thing. I can't really describe it. Um, 
Needless to say, the island was severely disappointing. You yeah. were, when you were a seal, you were dating maybe the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You think so? I she was gorgeous. I forget her name. What oh was her yeah, name? she well she was very tall. She was very tall. Yeah, very leggy. Very leggy. But I feel like when I was a seal, it's like for some reason like ladies love seal. Like it's just like I don't have any good seal jokes. Uh, what? No one was asking. Was, what, were we doing seal jokes? Or? I thought that was a nice story. Yeah, I think I, was, nice I think I was opening up and being vulnerable, and then uh, Arnie assumes. I, but anyway, uh, we we didn't find whatever island you're talking about. It must have been lost to us. Uh, it's. Many islands. I mean, thousands and thousands of islands. We really did not have time to see them all. We spent the majority of the trip, actually, and the majority of the funds for the trip, uh, having the you know, four years of beach parties. Sure. Which took up a lot of the gold that Queen Titania had financed the trip well, with. You have to, th- you have to plan ahead. If you're going on a huge endeavor of a, a massive trip to discover and explore, then it is critical that your crew is mentally prepared for such an undertaking. For if you find yourself sad or lonely upon the sea, going from island to island, what better to lift you up than the memories of a wild beach party? (laughs) Mm. It's true. And, I mean, for many of the people that went on the expedition, the beach party was the last good memory because... (laughs) As the expedition continued slowly, uh, crew members would disappear or, or, or we would lose track of them. And we actually came back with, you know, just Lois and I. Mm. Really? Uh, yeah. So wait, 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 crew members would disappear? You know, mm-hmm. in, in my mind, we would stop at an island and they would probably be having so much fun that they would just decide to stay. Wow. But we came back with so much extra food, too. I mean, and I, all the suits. Mm-hmm. What, do you think, the suits. Uh, what do you think happened to the others? Oof. That's a good question. So, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you're saying that these crew members disappeared. You thought they w- uh, went to go live on the island, but they took none of their belongings with them? It's the strangest thing. I do. I huh. never could figure it out. Just one of those things. <laughs> we did read. I did read some of their journals, uh, and a lot of them ended with uh, just A's and then A A A A A A A H. Uh, but Wait, I, so they would write screaming at the end of. I mean, assuming I, I didn't screaming. interpret it as screaming. I think that that's crass. Uh-huh. Uh, it could have just been a, a, a long sigh. That's how I would also write a sigh. Well, there's and also the, also the it great. Cu- it could have been an epiphany. Yes. Ah, like an idea. There's also the great uh, explorer uh, Adam uh, Alonzo Orlio uh, Animo Aeodio Harris. Oh, I see. Yeah. It could have been an homage to him. Yes. To oh, a- 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 yeah. We had a portrait of him on the ship. Everyone was a very big fan of him. Sure. Lois, you've barely touched your uh, full human leg. Yeah, it's um, it's it's the uh, dark meat, and I like the the white meat. Oh, so. well, yeah. What? How? What? What would you eat on these voyages? Barely anything. Yeah, I just <laughs> she I, never touched food. Uh-huh. Why well, had a coconut at that one party? She did have a coconut. Yes. Um, I just, you know, I got by. Can, I, can I, sharks I, digest a coconut? It was tough. That one hurt. Um, mm, I see. But yeah. I, uh, I made do. Cleaning the tank that night was. Hey, <laughs> Arnie and Usador, can we huddle up? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I think that. I think that shark ate the rest of the food. Yeah, no. It seems like, no, yeah, yeah. It's like 100%. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I think so. I'm shocked that you, Usador, don't see that and that Lewis doesn't see that. I think we need to help Lewis. I think you are buying into a stereotype. <laughs> About sharks? That's correct. And I, for one, am offended! Uh, well, let's find out. Uh, hey, uh, guy. so Lewis and uh, Lois. Wh- Please, what, what's Lois and Shark. Oh, sorry, Lois and Shark. It tends to get confusing because our first names are so yeah. similar. Sure, yeah. sure. What, what's, next, what's next for you two? Are you going to stay away from people in general and just, like, sail <laughs> as the two of you? <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, we've got <laughs> recruitment posters up. We're getting a whole, a whole group back together. Mm-hmm. Queen Titania was so pleased with our performance that she's financing a second round of the expedition. Was she not oh, upset wow. that so there was so much death on your... Or, or, or <laughs> so many disappearances on your last expedition? I mean, these are just crew members. I mean, these are, you know, uh, most of them didn't even have names. 
<laughs> they didn't have names. No, I didn't know their names. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Run. Do you <laughs> Run. know? How, do you know how expensive Run. a name is? I'm sorry. Uh, Run. Run. How oh yes. Yep. Trust me, I will be running the expedition. Oh, good. The ex- okay. yeah. I, I will have complete control over you know who we take and you know the beach party, the guest list. Do you know how expensive a name is? Uh, no. It's very expensive. Not everyone has a name. How, mu- how much does it cost to get a name? Uh, it was uh, four or five rupees. Yeah. Yes. Or at least I would say that converts to about three coconut coins. Yeah, wow. you, you want to buy a name, otherwise you'll end up like... <laughs> yep, and you exactly. Don't, and you don't want to end up like him. <laughs> sure, yeah. Sure. Uh, I, I'm just... I guess I'm not going to toy... I'm not going to... You're not, not going to toy? You're not going to toy? I'm not going to be coy about this. I'm just going to come out and say it. Lois, I... Did you eat all those people? I, I'm so sorry for all this I, Those were my friends. Ah. Oh. Those yeah. were my companions. Think about it, Lewis. Your shark lover's been eating everyone. I, I'm That's sorry. What? She has to... I mean, it's who she is. What? She is a person, okay? But she's... Usador, back me up here. Everyone can be a person. But also a person... A shark is a shark. Yeah. If I may, when, you know that island I was talking about earlier? Yes. I was on that island for about like seven seasons. We have like six seasons. In yeah, yeah, I was, sure. on, I was on for about seven seasons, I think. And the first couple seasons were great. And the last few seasons were fucking terrible. And I realized, you know what? I need to cut my losses and I need to leave this island. Right? You need to leave this shark. <laughs> She's playing you, man. Uh, this is <laughs> This is all just... I mean, we've been... Bosom buddies and in, 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 inseparable friends. I've never heard that phrase before. Now, now, now. <laughs> let's let's put this all to rest, Lewis. I understand that you're upset. Please, Shark. Shark, I understand that you're upset, Lois. I think it would be best for all of us. We heard it directly from you. Yes, Lois. Well, I'll did say, you eat our crew? I'll say this: uh, a shark never never sleeps, but at night. A shark becomes sleepy, and sometimes in the night, I would do things, and I would wake up and not, well, I wasn't asleep, but I wouldn't, I would never have eaten you. Did you ever do it while I was in the tank as well? It was one time. There it is. You were drunk on coconut rum, and... What was his? He didn't have a name. He wouldn't have had a name. The boy with the one eye. Oh, I called him Mike. Well, you shouldn't have, because he didn't pay for that name. You babied them, and so I... I swallowed Mike. And then... (laughs) You can't pretend like you didn't know, because... Mike had that earring, and you you found it. And I wore it. And you wore it through Mm. your nose. Well... I guess I would be lying if I said I didn't suspect that this was going on on my ship under my nose. I mean, yes, yes, I'm sure. Thank you, Chunt. Look, sometimes when you love somebody and there are things you don't like about them, you're willing to overlook them or maybe you don't want to acknowledge them, even though you know on some level that it's true. You know what? You're right. Lois? I think that I can live with what you've done. And if you would do me the honor... Let me just take this out of my nose. Uh, uh, would you make me oh, God. Oh, the man. happiest oh. shark in all of the ocean? <laughs> He's putting his nose ring on her fin. That is yeah. gross. Yes. Yes. A million times yes. Oh, this is the happiest day of my this life. This is the happiest day of wow. my life. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I don't think she did it. Well, Lois and Shark, congratulations. Thank Good you. luck. Thanks. Um, what does the future hold? Are you going to, the two of you, stay away from people and just... No, I think we'll still we'll do the expedition. We'll get a crew yeah. together and we'll go out and see. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're just going to be a more knowing accomplice to the death of your entire crew. Yes, but, I mean, we'll take precautions and make sure none of them have names. Oh, 
Yeah. Have you considered recruiting children? <gasps> oh, oh, hey. no, you, no, 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 That's no, a great no. Idea. no. There's already there's already enough child death. We'd save well, a exactly. lot on food and alcohol for the beach parties <gasps> if they're all children. I mean, those children are going to die anyway. Oh boy. All right. Well, um, hey, why don't we? Uh, why don't I answer an email here? If you would like to email me, you can always email me at magic tavern at puppies dot supplies, and you can email me at chunt at gmail dot com. That's chunt with six t's. And you can contact me on Twatterton. <laughs> by using at Usador the Blue. Or you can sleep with an acorn under your pillow. Put that acorn into a salad, devour it, and as you begin to ingest it, dream of Usador, speak my name aloud, and I shall hear you through the walls of the universes. But mostly on Twitter. Uh, Twitter's at, probably easier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I got this email uh, from Sean. It says, Dear Arnie, first and foremost, I would like to say that I've been following your podcast since almost near the beginning, and I think it is wonderful. I love hearing about Chunt and Usador's adventures and shenanigans. Shenanigans? It's just uh, wacky uh, misadventures. How dare you? Uh, also, it's been interesting seeing your relationships develop. Next, Arnie, good luck on your quest to find the Lunar Sword. Remember, always make sure that you are at your best health, and to stock up on health potions before going on a quest. That's good advice. I w- uh, where would I get health potions? I can make them. Oh, fantastic. Uh, there have been many times while I was dungeon diving that I battled my way to nearly the end and had to turn around because my health was not at a place to be fighting final bosses. What a chump. Uh, lastly, for Arnie, right now it is December 15th. Oh, this was sent a little while ago. Uh, in case you didn't have a calendar, and on January 5th, 2016, I am turning 30 years old. I was hoping to get a birthday wish from you guys on the podcast. It would be a great present. If not, I understand. Sincerely, Sean the Bearded. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's such an interesting coincidence. January 4th is my wife Sarah's birthday, uh, which is coming up. Uh, I think it might even actually be today. Wow. Uh, which I'm very sad. Whoever to miss she's it. with now is probably going to uh, <laughs> throw a nice little party. Throw a nice little beach party. Uh, beach well, parties, yes. Sarah, I know you don't listen to podcasts. You only listen to Smash Mouth. But I love you and happy birthday. And also, my birthday is coming up on January 6th. And you'll be turning. And I will be. Well, it's interesting that that Sean is having a land is having a Touchstone birthday. He's turning 30 on the 5th. On the 6th, I'm turning. 40. No. Oof. I know. <laughs> I know. 40, 40, wink. 40 wink. Wow. 40, 40, wink. 40 dead, like, dead stare. Like, no wink. Like, 40. Really? Yeah. 40, 40 dead. I thought you were in your 50s. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I just want to say that to all the listeners, um, if you would like to give me a nice uh, birthday gift, maybe just write a nice uh, review of the show on iTunes and say happy birthday to me in, in that way. We've been getting, I've been getting a lot of emails saying that people are really enjoying the podcast. Apparently, we've gotten some nice uh, reviews on Earth that I, people have been telling us about. Apparently, iTunes named us one of the best podcasts of the year, which is awesome. Uh, the Guardian named us one of the best podcasts of the year, although the they Guardian. called... The Guardian. <laughs> Can I recruit The Guardian to help me in my quest to defeat the Dark Lord? Uh, it's a new... Well, it's a newspaper on Earth re- recommended our podcast, but accidentally called us hello from the Magic Tower. Oh. Well, happy birthday, Sean the Bearded. Uh, but I do want to say we get... A lot of emails from people asking us to wish them a happy birthday, and uh, we just can't wish everybody a happy birthday. So as an end run uh, to not do that, I think we should wish happy birthday to everybody. Uh, we'll, we'll say happy birthday to every name on earth okay. so that we don't have to say happy birthday to people. And those again. without names as well. Yes, and those without names. Excellent point, uh, So uh, real quickly, we'll go through this. Happy birthday, Amelia Smelting Foxery. Happy birthday, Henrietta Robot Chumps. Happy birthday, Oliver Bolivar Butt. Happy birthday, 10 Lincoln Cannon Mop Mop. Happy birthday, Mr. Fuentes. Happy birthday, Dudley Franklin. Happy birthday, Teddy Freddy Eddie Farnsworth. Happy birthday, Bucky Conklin. A super double special birthday happy happy birthday to Billy Yum Yum, yum, yum 2 by 2 Happy birthday, Cornelius Pendergast. Happy birthday, Pringle Fitzgerald. Happy birthday, Freddie Mellon. Happy birthday, Long Mumps. Happy birthday, Eugenia Tinklepow. Happy birthday to Sugar Farthington Marple. Happy birthday, Sandy Apples. Happy birthday, Churchill Wetherly. Happy birthday, please, to Lisa Lisa Bobisa. And, and happy birthday to Gary. Yes, uh, and those are all the names of that people have on Earth. And you know what? To Kate. You know what? A very, very special happy birthday to one of my best friends. Mm-hmm. 
It's not my birthday. Are you? Oh. Oh, thank you, Chunt. I really yeah. thought you were gonna. No. Nope. I thought there was gonna be a twist at the nope. end. There's no twist. Be happy birthday, no pizza twist. skull. I realize now that since you're about to turn forty, that you're nearing the end, <laughs> and I just wanna. <laughs> yeah, it's before very you close. go. I want to make sure that um, you know that you are a good friend, and I mean that sincerely. Oh, are years a lot longer on Earth? Uh, are you like 60 in Foon years? You know, on Earth, people tell me that I look and act, uh, definitely act, act, a lot younger than Act wow. is different than look, uh, my people friend. People on Earth think that, uh, that people when they, on Earth here, I'm 40. So Earth 40. has a lot of liars on there? Or? <laughs> yes, pretty much. But, and, but thank you, Chad. That yeah, means a lot. You're welcome. When is your birthday? Um, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. Well, we'll pick a date to just... Let's do January 4th. No, oh, wait, that's my the... wife's birthday. Oh, I like that. January 4th it is. Oh, well, thanks so much, guys. Thank you, Lois and Shark. Please. Pleasure. Pleasure's you. all on try this to, side of the ship. Try yeah. to keep the murdering to the level that just you need to sustain life and no more. You do you. We'll see. Yeah. It'll be a honeymoon, so. <laughs> now do one sit-up. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll see everybody next week. <laughs> People ask me what I learned during my near-death experience, and the greatest lesson of all is the fact that none of what you just heard really happened. Usador the Blue was played in his farewell performance, whoops, sorry, that's just a bit of wishful thinking, by human actor Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger, i.e. the Talking Marketing Opportunity, was played with his usual usualness by Adel Rafai. Lois and Shark were played by special guests Jen Jackson and John Patrick Cohen. You can see Jen perform with the improv group Meridian at IO Chicago. And you can listen to John on the Campaign Podcast, an actual play podcast set in the Star Wars universe at OneShotPodcast.com. Star Wars universe? Great, another universe to keep track of. Otak Barleyfoot was played by Nick Bear. Craig, all this crisp pronunciation and breath control has sapped my energy. Can you take over for the less hilarious parts of the end credits? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Hello from the Magic Tavern was produced by Ernie Niekamp, Evan Jacover, and Ryan DiGiorgi. Uh, this one edited by Chris Rathjen. Uh, Andy Poland did the theme. Aller LeBond did the logo. Jason Knox did a lot of background sound stuff. It's a really talented guy. And, uh, oh, and also check us out on Twitter and, uh, and Facebook. Well done, Craig. Oh, thank you. By that I mean the steak I'm eating is well done. Your work was horrible. Ah, yes. Right. And you forgot the reminder that all of this was sponsored by Iron Galaxy, with help from the Chicago Podcast Co-op. Good to know. Learn more about Iron Galaxy's game Capsule Force at CapsuleForce.com and the Chicago Podcast Co-op at ChicagoPodcastCoop.com. Great. Craig, while I was in my healing slime coma, was there any word on where Trisha 8049 flew off to? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't even know how to begin to monitor that. I have had zero training in any of this equipment, so I wouldn't know if any of these lights meant that. But basically, no, I have no idea where she is. Hmm, not good. Not good at all. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.